Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Practical Tutorials Part 11. So today in this video, I would like, like to talk about reference modification which is very very important while working on the COBOL programming. As this is a practical video, I'll be showing practically how to work on reference modification that is coding a COBOL program, compiling a COBOL program, running a COBOL program and seeing the results of a COBOL program. Let's go ahead and see about reference modification. Okay, coming to the practical tutorial, I mean the, we have connect now we are connected to the main twin terminal. So this is the COBOL program about reference modification. So where you'll be giving your program ID or something else. Okay, so you will be giving some description. This program explains about working with reference modification, modification, and uh, written by K Kumar. Okay, this is myself, Kumar. Data division, working storage, WS state. So you, I declared four variables. One is WS state, WS mm, DD, and YY. And WS state is storing a date. Okay, so how? Now let's see how a reference modification work. Display. I'm trying to display a date, complete date, whatever it is here. I'm trying to extract. So if you want to extract a particular position values from this particular field, so then a reference modification come into the picture. It is same like substring in Java or C or C++. So let's. Uh, you have to give the starting and a length of the uh, extraction that is I want to separate month date and year from this complete date so then I can use reference modification here so what you need to do is to take the variable name and give open the parenthesis and give the start uh, position and uh, the length of the position okay it so date and uh, one is to do and ws mm so it will capture this 12 into it will store this 12 into mm in the same way uh, you can capture this month i mean sorry date here so 4 is to 2 that means starting position is 4 and uh, length is 2 bytes so okay in the same way if you want to capture year the starting position would be 7 and the length would be 4 so the date of year is in this way we can use a reference modification then I'm going to display each variables individually that is separately I'm trying to print it okay once after doing this save it and go to compile program uh, this is reference modification okay enter yes compilation is access then now we need to run the program so in order to run it you have to go to run program submit enter yes it ended with written code 0 now we will see the results okay go to out here you here it is you can see that date is 12012014 since it is in the format of mmddyy so date of month is 12 and date of dd is 01 and date of year is 2014 that's it this is how a reference modification works and this is this plays a very 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 important why because in real time you would be coming uh, you would be getting a flat records i mean which might be of 80 bytes or 133 or more than 133 bytes so they would be they would be separated with a delimited uh, comma or a tab or something spaces so where you want to extract the first particular positions from that record so in order, in order to use that one, we the reference modification plays a very key role to extract a particular fields from that particular records. Okay, so I hope you are getting something from out of these videos. If you like this video, please kindly subscribe, like, or comment me on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be coming up with more and more videos about this practicals, so which would be very, very much helpful to the beginners, learners, the who are want to refresh their mainframe skills, and 
and so on so thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasureful day